five yards, I'm going to be moving to a hard front sight, or in this case, watching the dot bounce on the dude's head so that if it makes a crazy at symbol and goes flying out into the white, I will see that I did that and I can make it up with a follow on shot. I use Thrum targets on the range for all the benefits of steel with none of the drawbacks. They're made in the USA too. Pick up a set to make your shooting more fun and effective. So I'm not waiting for the suspect to tell me that I hit him. I need to know what hits are critical and what weren't based on site diagnostics. That is gonna judge decision making about whether I leave him alone, like he's dead and hasn't figured it out, let me go take care of his buddy. Um, so uh, don't be afraid for these longer shots to conduct a focal shift back to your dot and watch your dot. And then as you practice it more, you can release that focus and find that sweet spot for you where you still have full dot diagnostics, but you're not losing essay on what's going on in the fight and it's not killing you on the, on the timing. Uh, so that is my challenge to y'all is call your shots. If I walk over to uh, a police academy, Sally Susan Bubble Butt Police Academy girl, and I say, where, where, was your, where were your sights at on that last shot? And the shot is down in the five ring. The correct answer is the five ring. There's no other way. If the gun is zeroed, the sights were wherever your freaking bullet was. So if the last time you saw sights, they were somewhere up in the nine ring and you have something going on in the five ring, you completely blacked out during that, during that shot. And that's what we call uh, the alien abduction. Okay, so, um, and there's science. I told you guys controlled explosion, I told you guys your brain doesn't like controlled explosion. If you have ever talked to anybody that has talked to a victim of trauma, they make very poor witnesses. Uh, you, uh, you, what do you mean you can't tell, you can't tell me the race of the suspect that was not wearing a ski mask? It's literally humping you right here. But their coping strategy for that terror is that the brain overwrites or does not record that information. And there are kids that were uh, abused as children that like they don't remember the two years that they lived in Ohio when they're an adult. Yeah, because that's when their creepy uncle was touching them. So they just have no recollection at 30 that they ever lived in Ohio. Their parents told them about it. There's pictures of it, but they don't have any memory. It's been wiped clean. So that is where calling your shots and then looking at bullets on a clean target matter. Cause and effect, cause and effect. I saw this, this occurred. All of that transitional movement of the gun was lost to you. You blacked out. The rest of us are shooting and the aliens have beamed your ass up to the mothership and you're not with us for those milliseconds and you come back down to earth sometime after recoil and you got a round in the five and a sore butthole because the gray's been probing you and you don't know what happened. So, uh, so it, I'm asking you guys to figure out when you're blacking out, and much like if you've ever been in a frat party or, or marine barracks, and you know that when you pass out, they're gonna sharpie penises on your face, you're telling yourself, don't pass out, don't pass out, don't pass out, and you might buy yourself an extra five minutes before you pass out and get a penis on your face. And so I'm asking you guys to do this as part of your shot process, is tell yourself, don't pass out, don't pass out, look at the dot, look at the dot, look at the dot, boom. And what you'll see is you will start to bookend the amount of time that you actually went up to the alien mothership. And at the end, of being conscious of when you blacked out and when you regained consciousness in microseconds, you will get to where you have total recall and you aren't taken to the mothership anymore. And there will be no gap in your gun camera, uh, badge cam footage of the event as you remember it in your brain. So th that's what I'm challenging you guys with next. Know where your dot was at the moment of ignition. Be able to recall that information later on. It's passed over 10 feet away from her. But the DA, politically motivated, we know that, had to come up with something. What he came up with was that there was no way that that officer could have known that that pregnant woman wasn't going to go get up and change the channel on the TV. He had no idea where she was over there. So taking three rounds of 556 five, and putting them in her home was recklessly endangering her life. That is criminal charges against a sworn law enforcement officer for missing and not even hitting anyone. 
So you go ahead and continue to sprinkle bullets around in the community and fucking see how that works out for you. We are fast approaching a zero tolerance environment. If you didn't get it right on presentation, you have to buy the time on the clock to fix yourself. See it, change it, do it. And if that's point three for you, congratulations. If you didn't want to be point three slower, your ass should have done more dry fire and gotten that gun more consistently up in front of your face. That's just the way it is. So, you guys come gather out, put your eyes and ears on. So we're taking the holster draw out of this and I don't have a pro timer. There's no par. I said accuracy is the barometer of your speed. I want you to shoot these rounds as absolutely fast as you can get away with. So that means I need to start getting the gun off safe, getting the trigger prepped so that when I see the sight picture, the gun is more ready to fire and it can go off sooner. If I punch the gun out real fast, but my finger is still here, my trigger prep is zero. Now I have two choices. By the time that a trigger prep takes, or mash the shit out of the trigger, and hope that my master grip will fucking keep it in the black. And that ain't gonna work tomorrow when you're shooting from here with one hand on the gun. So, if, you're, if you see black behind red, but the gun is not ready to fire, you just bought a camping trip. Camping, 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 until the gun is ready to fire. I'm not gonna discharge the gun until I have a high probability that I'm gonna get a hit. So, over time, all right, that was pretty good. Let's see if I can do it a little bit faster. What am I doing? How hard am I getting on the trip? The gun's ready to go off soon. Okay, this is what sounds good for me. And I'm just continuing to ramp up what I can get away with. But I'm using my misses, and I have one so far, I'm using my misses to then dictate me, all right? That last one, it was out. So now let me see if I can throttle it back. And, uh... High. Low. So now I'm at three, and I gotta get through the whole rest of this magazine. So now I've gotta be much more deliberate. I came out of the gate and I pissed away my mullet too early. So now, high, there's four. So now I have to, high, that's five, I just blew my shit. All right, so I was one over on that. Let's go down range and check it out. One, two, three, four, five. So 20 rounds of the gun, I blew my 80% accuracy standard by one bullet. So I didn't ratchet my neck in fast enough. And this drill is all about your throttle control. And what I see, especially guys that are over throttle guys, is you are gonna pick up whatever that is for you, and let's call it from the press out point three. Y'all are gonna shoot within a bucket five hundredths of a second, plus or minus point three for all of your rounds. And what the gun is actually doing, you can have fucking 15 out. And I'll walk by and I'll be like, we said 80% accuracy standard. And so you think that the way to make the bullets come here is to practice more. If I just keep practicing, the outcomes will get better over time. That ain't gonna help you if you leave here and fucking tune a guy up at Bucky's tonight. You need to see the fucking signals of the gun that are telling you you're going to fucking miss. It's like driving a car fast. There are vibrations in the pedal. There's shit in the steering wheel that is telling you, motherfucker, you are about to break traction and straighten this curb out. If you ignore the input of the vehicle, 
you do so at your own peril. You can't just keep going into the same fucking curb and varying your speed until you get an outcome that you want. You need to be able to diagnose your gun in real time and then change your behavior. Have the maturity to lay up. I'm four down and still got 10 rounds to go. That means your split might double, double in time in order to make your accuracy requirement. And we're gonna be shooting 80% accuracy all the way up until we get towards the first testing uh, event. So, courses of fire, like USPSA stages, I shoot those like it's an OIS. We all tell ourselves, when it's the real world, I'm gonna be able to fucking be a more mature, fucking responsible human being. Okay, show me. So I run through uh, action match stages and I want a 90% or above accuracy rate. If I'm blowing more than 90% alpha, I am shooting too loose. That is a simulated OIS. If I hit a fucking no shoot in that action stage, I'm going to fucking prison. While I'm in jail in pretrial confinement, Antifa is coming to my house and burning it to the fucking ground with my goddamn kids in it. My kids are gonna burn alive because I put around in that white fucking tarp. Now, if I'm running a stage to get practice, that is different. It's all a mental thing in your brain. Same course of fire, same timer, same standard, same everything. One of them is, I'm shooting it to see what I can get away with and to practice learning how to shave efficiency. I'm gonna be running it a couple of times, practicing deceleration, getting the gun up into my workspace, rapidly removing target to target transitions, all these places where we're gonna gain hundreds of seconds. But when somebody steps up with a clipboard and said, press burn, you're up, and it's like in-service shooting training, I'm running that shit like it is an OIS. And I'm gonna hold the consequences of shooting the wrong person, complete misses, and the people that are grading me are also gonna take it seriously like that. So that is my gear switch. Practice, 80%. A graded stage, my check on learning, 90%. Low percentage shots, 100%. It is never okay to miss a low percentage shot when you call it for what it is. If there's a cartoon target with fucking Macaulay Culkin and, and goddamn Ron Jeremy on that bitch, if you shoot Macaulay Culkin ever, it's not okay. Don't put that type of target up if you're practicing running loose. That's the wrong target and the wrong drill for your learning objective. Cartoon shoot don't shoot targets are a confirmation of your shooting maturity and decision making. They are not something to be used to try to get better. If you want to run loose, put fucking USPSAs and stenciled guns in that shit and run it loose, hard, fast. But if the purpose of that target is to make you thread the needle and launch a round predictably that does not hit a hostage, do not put it up there unless you're willing to hold somebody accountable for it, and then it's 100%. It is never okay. Never okay to shoot a hostage. So, that's my thought process on 80, 90, 100% training. 